Hi, welcome to this session. In this video, we will see how to work with virtual data source, specifically using Hive Data Warehouse and MySQL database. In this video, we'll see how to create table structure using Hive Data Warehouse, which is a big data database, and, um, and MySQL database. We'll set up the virtual connections in Jasper Report Server. We'll create a domain and use calculated field in add off view. And we will also see um, a logger for debugging. So let's go uh, first check the Hive and MySQL database. So we will be accessing both database through command prompt. In MySQL, we will check if there is any tables or database structure. So this is a command prompt for MySQL, and um, we will just try to log into MySQL. Okay, so we are inside the MySQL database. To check the databases, we can put command like show databases, and we can see that there are some default databases installed, um, which is Jasper Server, uh, Foodmart, SugarCRM. For this video, we will use Foodmart as a database. Now we will go to Hive uh, database. So this command prompt is part of an Hadoop cluster 2.3. And uh, in this cluster, we have a Hive uh, uh, master installed. And um, usually what happens is you can access why Hive via Zookeeper or different um, uh, tools. But for this, we are using a command line. So start to get into Hive, we'll just type Hive here. Okay, so we are inside Hive. Um, now we'll see some databases. So if we want to see the list of databases inside this we can issue a command database show databases I can we can see that there are uh, default databases and a test database so I have created this test database and to use the test database we'll say use test and uh, so we have one table so we can say show tables we have one table product and I have loaded this product with data uh, by using the load command. So if I say select all from product, we have number of data in this. Okay. So we have uh, uh, MySQL and Hive database ready. Now we will go to typical Jasper, uh, Jasper report server. So before going to Jasper Report Server, we will check what is VDS or Virtual Data Source. So Virtual Data Source allows you to combine multiple JDBC and JDI data source and make them available to be joined through a domain. You can combine any number of data sources, including schemas from different databases or from different vendors or different schemas within the same database into a single object. So when you access VDS from domain, so you are accessing a single object. TIPCO Jasper Report Server provides two ways of implementing virtualization. One is through TIPCO Data Virtualization, also known as DV software. It's a separate installation and you need to get an endpoint or URL from the DV and create a JDBC connection in Jasper Report Server in order to access the uh, DV software. The second option is State Engine, where we are going to work with. It's an inbuilt in Jasper Report Server, and you can define inside the server itself. You don't need to have a separate installation for this. So now we'll go ahead and create a VDS in Jasper Report Server. So firstly, we'll create virtual data source. So as we click on Create Data Source, and then we will select Virtual Data Source from the option. And once we click on Virtual Data Source, it will give the list of um, the the list of available data source and we can select two for multiple data sources. From, so for this example, I'm selecting Hive and MySQL data source, which I've already pre-created for this video. And then now we'll click on um, save by giving the name, after giving the name for this data source. Now we'll go to create domain. Data source example will give 
वैसे हम लोग सो इट्स गिविंग एम ई ऑप्शन ऑफ बोथ and now we can see that we have higher data source uh, product detail, uh, details and we have uh, mysql food mart database details so we will get this product from higher data source and um, for example from here we will get um, a sales fact and uh, go to joins we'll join both these tables so from hive we will join join our product id and go to display and add both these tables click ok okay so now we have uh, we will go and create ad hoc view with the domain we have just created so we'll select the domain we'll select both these tables We'll change it to table mode. We'll select a product name from Hive data table, and then we'll create and then we'll use some couple of measures here. So, for example, we'll select store cost and store sales, and we'll create a new calculated measure, uh, seeing this as category and. Uh, create a new um, some conditions so I'll just go and say if store cost less than equal to store sales then I'll categorize as category A else category B and just validate this and create measure and just try double click on this measure okay so you have um, almost all the values um, in the store cost less than store sales and uh, it's giving us category A so far we have seen now how to create table structure in hive set up virtual data source connection, create domain and use calculated field. And now we'll go on checking some logger classes for debugging. So we have two loggers here, uh, which is specifically used for logging. One is uh, TED embedded server with uh, virtual data source query dot TED embedded server. And this is triggered when virtual data source cache is cleared and gives us more information on clearing of cache. And second is about virtual data source query service. So this gives us more information on the SQL queries and prints the queries in, a, in the log. So you can find the log information in WebINF logs folder. So as a reference, I have referred to tutorials point for Hive query language. And you can refer to this site or different um, site where it gives more information on Hive. And that was it. And thank you for watching this video.